How's it going guys and gals? Welcome to another video today. Again, another purple small smurfy boy has graced our channel again and it is none other than our favorite wizard in the mid lane, Vega. I'll just let the scoreboard speak for itself. 16-1-7. Still didn't manage to get MVP though, but again, still well deserved by Ash. 11-3-16. Crazy. But yeah, this is a massive match, guys. Um, build is there. You can see it, but I will pop it into the video as well. So less of me rambling, guys. Straight into the amazing gameplay. So if it wasn't already obvious of what who is on the team, we have um, we have Pike, Shen, Ash, myself as Vega, and then Jin Zhao as Jungle, and then the enemy team have Aurelia, Nunu as Jungle, Vayne, Morgana, and your boy Set. Uh, in mid, we do have Aurelia. I do remember being on stream and being like, "Hmm, this could go either way," and even though even the viewers were like. I don't know about this. I don't know about this blam. I don't know about this, but we do, as you've seen in the leaderboards already, we do see that Vega absolutely slaps and solidifies his place as in one of Blam's most favorite mid laners ever. I don't think there'll be ever a champion that sort of outplays Vega in my heart. Ariana, maybe one of those coming up soon though. So we do get first blood on the uh, the enemies in duo lane, I believe it was. Yes, it was enemy Morgana got the first death. But we got first blood. You can already see how aggressive this Aurelia is. She's already missed quite a few of her stuns. We get a second kill up in duo lane, but it looks like Morgana and Ash are battling out. And Ash managed to get the second kill there. Nice, nice. Jinzo getting a kill and invading the Baron lane and getting the kill on set also. Again, look, so many times she tries to go in with the stun. I literally build my third around me so she just can't get me. Just to stop all that mess. Just to stop all that mess and all that show ladyism from Irelia trying to punk me. Again, Pike with the kill on Vayne. Nice. We do see Nunu going there on the map on your boy Nunu. Aurelia tries to go in on me. She flashes but lands into my third and gets stunned. We have Jinzo helping us here. Do we get the kill here? Jinzo managed to get the kill on Aurelia, but Aurelia also managed to get the kill on Jinzo. As we can see, Nunu is rotating up to me in mid. I couldn't have saw this because obviously... There was no... Actually, yes, the ward was there. The only time I saw it was when it was there. Nunu seems to get caught a lot by that. And if I had proto belts, so help. So help Nunu. I would have proto belted in, ulted, and he would have been dead. Absolutely flatlined. Let's check what's going on in your lane here. See, we're already like two minutes in. Six kills. 2k gold lead mental this doesn't normally ever happen if this happened every game i've been playing in ranked i would be diamond right now i would be in legendary ranked with everybody else who's having fun in that mode and then this blam just sit there crying whilst i am stuck with all the monkeys in standard ranked which is not fun at all aurelia here going in again I managed to pop my third around her. She seems to keep falling for this. The definition of insanity itself did the same thing, but keep expecting different results, and it's not happening for her. We will go back in on me here. Oh, again, stun again. Does the ult, does everything. We stun her. She gets stunned. She gets killed. So, yes, she got the kill. But so did I. <laughs> but she keeps falling into the same goddamn trap every time. Like, learn. Please learn. Whilst I'm just respawning back, we will have a little cheeky look at duo lane over here as well. Right, quickly. Pike missing that hook there. That would be nice if Pike managed to land that. That chipping away at that bottom turret as well. <laughs> I think I actually remember finishing like 250 stacks on this one. I think I remember Matthew pointing that out in stream. Like, yeah, 250 stacks helps, Blam. It's like, mate, 
It's just my Vega. It's just my Vega. What are you talking about? 250 stacks. Oh, again, landing for the stun. I think I'm landing more stuns on Aurelia than Aurelia's landing stuns on me. And as you just saw, Ash's arrow literally just completely missed Aurelia there. I'm pretty sure she hit set in bot lane though, so it wasn't a complete waste of an ult there. Nice stacks, boy. Aurelia rotating up to top here. Going in to help the duo lane on the enemy team. Will we see Aurelia get a kill here? Ash has already clocked her. It looks like Pike is almost dead here. Ash taking quite a bit of a brunt, but manages to TP out of the way of Aurelia. Jinzhou catches wind of them invading. Jinzo right in on it. Pike stealing the kill, and Ash getting the double kill there on Vayne as well. Nice. Here comes Nunu with his big snot ball. I managed to stun him with my third, as usual. He flickers out there? Why? We managed to get a kill on Nunu. Nice. So the stacks are fattening. Shame we can't. Oh, there we go. We can see the stacks. So we're currently on 52 stacks there. And we managed to get the first Drake as well, which is fantastic. So not only are we nine kills ahead, we are one dragon ahead. And uh, no one has taken a single turret yet. Here we see another engage here. We managed to get the kill on Morgana. Aurelia tries to go in on me here, but I've caged her. So if she tries to escape, she would have got stunned. But she timed that pretty well, to be honest. I'm not leaving Jin Zhao just here to die. Oh, no. Maybe I am. Maybe I am. Maybe I am. Boom. Stunned the Aurelia. I think this is where I die again. No, because I only get one death, don't I? Go on, say not that nice double kill there for Ash. I managed to get the kill on Aurelia again, and then she gets the kill on Nunu. Nice, let's go. Right Will this be first turret for your boy, Blam? Blam, Blam. Bottom turret is under attack. Ooh, nice pull there from Pike. I'm seeing a lot of Pike being played now since 3.3. Um, obviously, he's had a buff. Double kill for me, boy, Blam. Let's go. Go! Nice! Jinzo taking the Rift Herald here as well. First Rift Herald going to us, boys. Nice! Boom! GG! There's still no turret to blue team, so our team still has no turret. We are 13 kills ahead, which is mental. Seven minutes in, 13 kills ahead. Almost 10k gold ahead, which is absolutely nuts and bolts. Nice. Pushing that Rift Herald down in bot lane, but we do see Aurelia going to meet it and stop the push here. Aurelia with the stun, but Shen blocks it. Shen gets out of there. Will we see Rift Herald do any damage to the tower? Nice, 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 decent amount of damage. Me and Jin Zhao go in here on the Nunu as well. We've caught wind that he tried to, tried to invade duo lane, but we managed to come and help Pike. Unfortunately, Ash died though. And there we go. First turret in duo lane. Let's go. So we'll have a quick check on how many stacks we are currently at now. So last time we checked, we were on 52. We are now on 122, so almost... Quick maths, quick maths, 72. 70? Yeah, 70. Almost 70 stacks since the last time we checked. But this is the thing that's really important with Vega. It's just utilizing his ability to get those stacks. And also trying to get, even though people don't like you getting the last hit on certain kills, but getting that kill it like, enables you to get like five stacks, I believe. Boom, again, in the tower. This Aurelia is not doing too well. We do see a e invade here by Set. I managed to stun him, and obviously Nunu's chasing me with that purple snot ball. We managed to get our second right on Nunu's head. Ash going in here as well with the stun. We have been met with Pike as well to help. Pike going in with Set. Will we see Pike get a kill on Set? Nice, let's go. But Pike gets killed by Nunu. Goddamn stun by Nunu. So frustrating. Will we see the second tier tower in the mid lane go down? 
Ooh, Ash just stealing the kill there. That would have been a nice fat stack for me, boys. Donk. See, he keeps doing it. He keeps falling for this goddamn trick. Popping my third down, and Nunu just runs into it like an absolute tree. Nice. Well done, Shen, for taking that bot lane as well. So not only do we have mid, we have bot lane, and we have duo lane. First tier towers taken, and mids is pretty much halfway gone already as well. And this is all before 10 minutes in, guys. This is how matches are always meant to be run, especially when you're playing Vega in mid. You're meant to have an 18 kill lead. You're meant to have a 14k gold lead. And you're meant to have one Drake and three turret lead as well. 10 minutes in, guys. That is crazy. These are the kind of teams I wish I had more often. There's teams in solo queue that would run like clockwork and didn't constantly troll or cry when the uh, champions got banned or constantly auto-fill Andy's like, Oh, can I, can I meet? I don't know who to jungle annoys me just really annoys me for it lost so we do lose our first turret to the enemy team in bot lane but when you've got an Aurelia and a set on it you are bound to lose it especially when it's uncontested nice we managed to get the second tier tower in mid so that's my lane pretty much dominated right now will we be cheeky enough to steal the um inhibitor morgana here level nine what is she doing what is she doing Boom! Oh, my day! My day! Boom! Shen with a kill on Aurelia. Nice, Shen. We didn't quite see how that would play it out, but fair play. Oh, set coming in with the ultimate there on Ashibu. Ashibu is down. We managed to get the kill on Vayne, though. This Vayne really struggled. Normally, veins are just completely on my ass when I play Vega. So it makes it so difficult to play Vega when you've got a vein on enemy team, especially when they've been fed. But luckily for me, our dual lane had them locked down, which really helps the... Um, it just helps nerfing Vayne in that match, just not feeding her. But we managed to get the second Drake as well. So that's all gone to us. Kudos to Mr. Jin Zhao here. Will we get the second Rift Herald? We see Set here coming in for an engage. But we managed to just bay him off because it's like, mate, what's the point going in there? You can't steal it. You've got Vega and Jin Zhao there. Jin Zhao absolutely poking the hell out of him here. I popped my third to stop anything. Just trying to stun anybody. Boom, we go in another kill on Vega here. This is fantastic. Shen going in for the kill on Lunu. Pike pulling him out of his safety zone. Set going in with a ultimate here. We get another kill on Nunu, which is nuts. And there's me trying to be greedy and take that set kill, but we didn't quite get it because he managed to get back to the inhibitor. But Pike managed to still secure it though. We didn't get it, but Pike got it, which is all good. It's all good. We're a team. We're a team. So if we check my stacks now, guys, I'm on 201 stacks, which is nuts. 12 minutes in, we're on 201 stacks. That is absolutely crazy. And we got Rift Herald all the way to Nexus. You don't normally see this in matches. Boom, another vein kill. Oh, this vein is tragic. Absolutely tragic. A torn from your boy Blam. Pike being chased down by Nunu here. We do put my third down to try and stop Nunu. Getting on the Pike kill here. Pike with the stun. I'm here. Still assisting the Pike with so much damage. It's crazy. Nunu getting the shield here. Will we see Pike go before we manage to get the kill on Nunu? And we claw Nunu with how first before we could even get that shield off his ultimate. Let's go. So we'll have a quick little update on gold and towers and all that. So we are currently running just under a 2k, 20k gold lead. We're absolutely crazy. We have four towers above the enemy team. If it weren't for Aurelia just like beelining a lane when we're busy beelining their inhibitor and nexus, they wouldn't have any towers. Uh, we have two drakes and obviously we both we had both rift heralds as well as you can see by the time we're at the bottom of the screen as well guys there is not much left of this match because we literally dominate so hard here we go trap that little aurelia there which managed to make herself unstoppable i'm guessing she's got qss 
Or somewhere along the lines of that. Shen going in with his ultimate to give that shield to his allies. Set coming to try and take Shen with the ultimate, but didn't quite do much damage there. Again, Aurelia going in, but look how lucky I am here. Look how lucky I am here. That could have ended completely nasty for me, but didn't quite. Double kill on the Morgana here. It's absolutely mental, guys. And just so lucky I am there. On that gameplay, I almost died. It is crazy. That was clipped live as well. It was crazy how hey, well. Literally, I swear, the Vega has a secret passive that is just literally, look at the Irish. It is, how many times I survived with Vega is crazy. Dirty boy Bez featuring in the video there, just right at the end. But GG, guys. That is how you play Vega mid. That is why Vega is banned a lot of the higher ELO games. Obviously, I wouldn't know that personally because I can't seem to get it of Emerald. But you see how I play there. I play very well. I just can't carry every goddamn match. But let's look at the details quickly. So, damage. We literally out damage Ash. We out damage Jin Zhao. It is absolutely nuts. So 29k damage. I'm just this this much off 30k damage with Vega, which is mental, guys. Absolutely mental. And obviously, damage taken 4k, which is a lot of damage for a mage to only die once. I take 40k damage. Um, gold 14k, so still more than the jungler, but not as much as Ash. And then obviously uh, participation in team fights is 23, so 52%, which is to be fair, pretty good. Anyway, it's back to the worst time of the video, guys, where it comes to an end. I really hope you've enjoyed that video there. Vega, once again, Grace, and only literally on the channel probably like a few videos ago, but I could not give up um, showing you this match, especially in 3.38 when he supposedly had a nerf. A base health nerf but you're still seeing him survive in these mental situations guys you need to learn vega anyway hope you've enjoyed the video guys if you have and you're new here please do drop a sub it means the world take it easy i'll catch you on the next guys